Well, I'm going to answer this not only from a Connecticut perspective, but from a national perspective. Grandparents have uh, very few rights in this country. There was a uh, United States Supreme Court decision called Troxel, in which it made it clear that grandparents, unless they had what was tantamount to a parent-child relationship with the grandchild, had no greater rights than a stranger. And a parent-child relationship was characterized as, let's say, a situation in which grandparents would see their grandchild or grandchildren every week for daycare purposes, say from noon until five in the afternoon, and then on weekend for dinner, let's say on Saturday or Sunday night. That would uh, be satisfactory with respect to gaining rights if their child or their um, uh, child spouse did not permit them to see the child. But without that, without that type of a relationship, they're really mere strangers. Well, grandparent rights were pretty fluid up until the time that the Troxel decision came down with the United States Supreme Court. Grandparents were granted an elevated status, uh, certainly not the status of a father or a mother, but a status above an aunt and uncle or a sibling uh, or something like that. I honestly don't think that enough people are advocating for grandparents. I do know that ARP, as I mentioned, has a lobby for grandparents, but I think that uh, there aren't enough grassroots organizations in states. Uh, just take Connecticut, for example. Uh, I know of no grassroots organization in Connecticut, and I probably meet with a set of grandparents per month and they have nobody to fall back on, nobody to discuss these issues with, nobody to discuss their problems with. Well, I certainly don't think changes to grandparents' rights will occur in the year 2007. I do think the legislation will be enacted or another case will come before the U.S. Supreme Court which will grant grandparents' rights because it is kind of silly that I have the same rights with somebody's uh, grandchildren as the grandparents do. It makes absolutely no sense. How can grandparents possibly be deemed to be strangers? Let's take this example. Let's say there's a situation in which uh, they're the parents of the mother and the mother dies in a car accident and the father has custody of the children, which is naturally what would happen. The other parent would get custody of the children. That father may never have liked his in-laws, the children's grandparents, and may say, I don't want you ever to see these grandchildren again. And right now, unless they have what is a parent-child relationship, he'll be successful. He'll be able to stop them. Grandparents are critical and integral to any child's life, uh, any grandchild's life. And I think it's a shame that right now, grandparents have so few rights. And I'm hoping very much, not for the sake of my law practice, but in general, for the rights of grandparents, such as my parents, and I have two daughters, that the law changes and grandparents are invested with the rights that they had before the Troxel decision.